Hi, Taurus. Welcome. So, Taurus, this is going to be your reading, your tarot reading, and we're going to go ahead and get straight into it and see what we have coming in for you, Taurus. So, when I was meditating um, on the collective Taurus energy before beginning the video, um, I got a few different images. And, you guys, it's a general reading, so take these as they resonate. Leave them if they don't. But for some reason, I was seeing tortilla chips, uh, a necklace with a cross on it, and I was getting messages about busy, 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 busy. So <laughs> um, take it if it resonates, like I said. But there's like this busy type of energy, okay, for all of you, I feel, coming through. So this might be a really busy time for you. You might be pulled in a lot of different directions. Your schedule might be a little bit hectic, to say the least. It just feels like a very active, action-oriented time for you, Taurus. Um, and... Actually, you're being encouraged to kind of go with the flow of whatever's coming through for you during Leo and Virgo season, August and September. So let's see what the cards have to say about it, Taurus, and go from there. So we're going to get one card for the overall energy for Taurus. And you have, oh, that makes complete sense, the card of Pluto, which is all about kind of a hectic energy it's it, yes it's talking about transformations but it's also talking about change revolutions claiming your personal power um it's a very cyclic type of energy um and like i said can be very intense right on the other side of this it could feel very extreme it could be kind of like a suspicious type of energy you might be feeling that um or you might be um connecting with people who are feeling that type of vibe. I don't know. It's just like there's more than meets the eye. There's more than, I keep hearing beneath the surface. So there's more that lies beneath the surface, okay? Um, so let's get into it a little bit further and see. Also, by the way, guys, I have Scorpio Leo energy out. You could be dealing with either of those signs or have that somewhere in your chart. And as I say that, I get the King of Wands. <clears throat> Um, fire energy here for some of you, but this is talking about taking leadership, okay? Now, some of you, there might be changes in leadership in the company, or you might be in a leadership position, or um, for whatever reason, taking the lead is of most importance right now, okay? Not Even if you're not the boss. We're all our own boss at the end of the day anyways, you know what I mean? So, it's like taking the lead on your life, but also... Claiming your personal power, Taurus. I feel like this very empowering energy coming through. Uh, maybe after some hectic movements or some big changes here. So let's go ahead and look a little bit further. I also feel like easily distracted. You know, you could have like a few different things going on at once, but yet you're giving a little bit of your attention to each of them, but not all of your attention to any of them. So I feel like this is very distractive energy. Or for instance, like you might have like multiple conversations going on at once, like on your messenger, or on your phone, or in your head maybe, I don't know. Uh, lots of different voices possibly, or things wanting your attention. I just feel a little bit scattered brained, okay? A little bit unfocused. Taurus and even a little bit agitated so some of you might benefit from definitely taking a step back um, if you need it if things are feeling a little too hectic for you change is not always easy for my fixed signs right so take the time that you need to figure something out okay or to figure yourself out before you go busting in or making any big moves or big changes here so let's see what we have coming in in the headspace here taurus you have the ace of cups the seven of cups the ten of wands the page of swords and the knight and the knight of wands i also feel really rushed you know like i don't know don't it could be very tempting during this time frame taurus to kind of rush to, because you're feeling this rush of energy to maybe rush things along yourself or, you know, like, have you ever been, you're just wanting to get stuff done. So you're like shooting off emails or trying to get tasks done really fast. It's like you're doing things. 
but you might also be missing things. You know what I mean? Like there's a high likelihood as well of like miscommunication and we are getting ready to go into a retrograde. I, uh, if I recall correctly. So things tend to get confusing around that time frame during a retrograde. So be careful about miscommunicating your words. And I'm hearing be picky choosy, picky choosy. <laughs> I don't know, take it or leave it. Um, yeah, okay, so let's go into it. So you have the Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands, Page of Swords, Knight of Wands, like I said before. There could be some emotional confusion going on when it comes to uh, love right now or how you're feeling about something or someone. It could just feel like, especially if things are feeling very heavy, that maybe you just want to kind of walk away for a moment or maybe you need to walk away. <clears throat> There's this message too about like reprioritizing your schedule. Some of you have been maybe prioritizing people or things that really aren't prior prioritizing you. And so it's like looking at everything that's meaningful to you and reprioritizing a few things and mainly reprioritizing yourself and how you feel at the end of the day. I just get a sense of like things seem to be piling up or getting a little bit heavy, especially when it comes to like work or your workload. Um, but yes, it could also be on the emotional front for a few of you, just things feeling a little bit heavy there, some confusion around that situation. Um, you're definitely learning something new during this time period about yourself, okay? Um, that's an absolute. There seems to be some insight coming through that is going to help you to kind of move out of that energy into a much lighter experience, all right? So I feel like there is relief or some sort of transformation coming that's allowing you to kind of see the light of day. Um, but I feel there could be moments in time or you might be in this energy right now where things feel a little bit heavy, a little bit bleak is the word that they're giving me. Like, wow, um, I'm not seeing the light at the tunnel, maybe, light at the end of the tunnel, maybe, but it is there. It certainly is there. It's just like you have to get through some of these changes before you can get to this lighter energy. Um, Sorry. Interestingly enough, there's also a message about taboos. Is that taboo? That's what I'm getting. Okay. Let me get some more cards out and see <laughs> if we're going to get any clarity on that. Taboo. Is that ta taboo? could be that you're emotionally confused about what decision to make because you're fearing like, is that taboo? Um, what a weird message. Okay, I'll come back to that. There's the tower again. You've got it out twice. Three of Wands, the Hangman, the Tower. The Three of Cups. That's going to drive me crazy because I want that message to come through. All right. Um, so Taurus, in the emotional space, three of wands, the hangman, the tower, the three of cups, the king of cups. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Some of y'all need chill out. <laughs> I'm sorry. This reading, um, it's like as soon as I sat down, it was like dot, 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 all over the place. Distractions, distractions, busy, busy, busy. Like chill out or you're going to burn out. Okay, um, for whoever I'm connecting with, I just feel like almost like this energy shift or exhaustion coming through of overthinking or overstimulating something. Like, take it easy. Don't rush into anything. Nobody's rushing you. Even when it feels like that, it's just your perspective about the situation. There's no rush to really anything in life because, you know, um, we're here to figure things out and there's no specific timeline as to how fast you need to figure things out. And in fact, if you rush this, 
you might make some mistakes or miscommunicate something. So they're saying, chill out, please. It's even hard for me to concentrate as I sit in the energy. So um, it's just like, whew, emotionally, okay, let's go there. Things might feel a little bit overstimulating. Um, I can't even, sorry guys. <laughs> I only yawn like that when my energy is massively shifting. Um, wow, it just feels like overstimulation. And now as I'm yawning, like the energy is starting to slow down. So, okay, there is a shift in that. There is a change coming in that where things are going to start slowing down, making a little bit more sense um, after you get through this kind of busy time frame, right? But it's like... You're standing on the precipice of change is what I'm hearing. Um, wow, why am I getting Elvis again? I got Elvis in the Leo reading, which I didn't realize that the, the anniversary of Elvis's death was just two days ago <laughs> um, in Leo season. But now I'm hearing uh, when fools rush in. Well, that might not be Elvis. When fools rush in, wise men say. Anyways, take it if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. If that's not the correct artist, let me know in the chat. But that's what I'm hearing. Um, and it kind of came out of the blue. Wise men say. But I can't help falling in love with you. Okay, that may resonate with some of you. Maybe that's what the rush is about. Either way, um, don't rush into things. Don't rush into major decisions during this time frame, even if your heart is tugging at you, Taurus. Now, some of you, it's like your heart is feeling something and you're wanting to jump on it um, or maybe feeling pushed or rushed in a certain direction, but there's too much confusion and there's too much heaviness in the energy. So you need to kind of take time to think this over before you take some sort of action to see it from all sides of the coin, to see it from all perspectives. But I do feel that there's definitely a change coming through. And it's a positive change because it is bringing you closer to the people or person that is most important to you with the Three of Cups here and the King of Cups. So there is like this relief coming in. And can you see the difference in my energy from just a few minutes ago after I yawned? Like it's almost like a sigh of relief that came in. It's like busy, 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 busy or overstimulating, overstimulating, lots of things pulling at you and then sweet relief. <laughs> so that's how quick the energy is going to be changing um, for you, Taurus. So I'm happy to see that. And then there's like the sense of relief or the sense of peace coming through and then feeling supported in your decisions, okay, or feeling supported in the environment. Um, so let's go further and see. What else for Taurus? Two of Pentacles. And I'm also getting this song, Should I Stay or Should I Go Now? Some of you might be com contemplating whether or not to stay or go in a situation. Could be in love, but could also be in work. Um... There's, I, hear, I heard, don't rush that decision, okay? Stay the course for now. There's some sort of new insight coming through that's going to help you to know what the next best, act, be, best action is. Might be good to lean on your friend's support group right now or a, any support group if you have it, um, especially if you're going through some big changes, okay? Um, sometimes it's not nice to bounce ourselves off of other people, and especially people that love us and that we can trust. 
So, yeah, because you have the Two of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Eight of Swords. One more card. Whoa. Okay, two more. There we go. All right, so, and then it ends on the Sun and the Queen of Wands. So, Taurus. There's still this back and forth. Some of you are juggling multiple different priorities. Um, and this may be really eating at you, okay? It might be really bringing you into a headspace of, like, not enough time. You know what I mean? It, it might feel like there's, like, just not enough hours in the day to get to everything that's meaningful to you or everything that you need to get to. And this is a head trap. This is a mind game. This is the game our mind likes to play on us when we let it get away from us. <laughs> when we let this busyness overcome our logic, our practical mind, um, or our practical self. So it's like, it, it feels like that there's all these really important things and there's just not enough time in the day, and blah, blah, blah. But it's just a thought process, Taurus. If you could back away from your thought process for a minute by deep breathing, taking 10 minutes to meditate, you know, going out in nature, you would see that you're making too much of all of this. Okay, most of the things that you're worried about aren't going to matter five years from now. It doesn't matter if you get your bed made or that load of laundry done. It'll still be there. You know, like some of these things are really meaningless or very small things that in the big picture are, are not as important as you think that they are. All right, but for whatever reason, letting your mind get into the space of feeling like everything is so important or like there's so much to do and it's like just focus on the task at hand that's all you can ever do is what whatever you can do in the now moment is all you can do and that's got to be enough that's got to be enough because that's all you can do so alleviate yourself of the stress of worrying about anything beyond that you know don't use today's energy to worry about tomorrow's problems because you can't affect it that way you just affect yourself and you ruin your day. You know, use your today energy for things that you can do and impact today. The rest will work itself out. You're getting all overstimulated or allowing yourself maybe to go into the space of thinking that you should be doing something other than what you're doing, which is a silly thought. And of course, that's going to stress you out because you can't be doing anything other than what you're currently doing. So it's got to be all right. It's got to be all right because this is where you are. You know what I mean? So it's almost like having that come to Jesus moment, you know, like come to the present moment and realize that you're stressing yourself out over nothing. Now, some of you are going to have a chance, though, to reconnect with the things and people that are meaningful to you once you kind of allow yourself to move away from this busy energy. And once you stop prioritizing all these things that in the big picture are, well, there's nothing meaningless about anything if you do it with purpose, if you do it with presence. But there are frivolous things that we spend our time on that we would be better off spending time on more meaningful activities. So there's this is like a good time period to kind of look at your life and see like what areas of your life does it feel like you're doing you're doing something just to say that you're doing it but it's not meaningful to you. And they're wanting you to prioritize more things that are meaningful to you that bring you joy, true joy, happiness, that bring you excitement. Maybe tap into your creativity. Not just to say you did it, but because you loved it. Because you enjoyed doing it, Taurus. They want you to do more things that you really enjoy. Wow. Listen, I love you guys. And I love Taurus energy. But this reading stressing me out. <laughs> I just felt like ugh, all the, uh, but then now I feel kind of relieved. So let's do a big in. Out. 
See how good that feels? Come on, join me. Come on. You're already watching, so you might as well do it. Let's do, let's do one big deep breath in and one out. Don't you feel so much better? <laughs> That's all it takes. It's crazy how easy it is to calm our mind if we try just a little. Um, and really, I, I feel like that's really all it would take for you to calm the energy down and recenter yourself. And just remember what's really important. What's really important is that you're present and that you've got love in your life and you appreciate life. That's what matters. The rest is just for fun. <laughs> but if it doesn't feel fun to you, that means you haven't done the vibrational work. If you're letting yourself get stressed out, that means you're not plugged in. You're not tuned in to your higher self. You're out of alignment. And all it takes to get back into alignment so that you start enjoying even the most meaningless, me menial tasks. Yes, because you could find love in that. I mean, one time I discovered I loved vacuuming. What a stupid thing to love. But I did. <laughs> Why? It made me fully present. But even if, if you just take 10 seconds to do that breathing exercise two or three times, it'll bring you back to center and alignment. And then things won't feel so rough anymore. Things won't feel so heavy. Some of you just need a breather. So give yourself an opportunity to take a breather so that you get back into alignment and that you don't make any rushed decisions. There is a change coming, but it's good because it's giving you relief as long as you don't go straight back into going in your head and overstimulating yourself. But there's connectivity coming in. All right. So there are reasons to feel good. And if you could quiet your mind long enough, it'll be easier to find the reasons to feel good and easier to move away from these things that keep stressing you out. So let's see what the law of attraction has to say then, Taurus. Ooh. <clears throat> Why in the world do I have the Big Red song in my head? I've gotten that before in readings. It's very bizarre. You know, Big Red Gum. <laughs> I keep hearing, make it last a little longer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, with Big Red. Whatever. All right, so, oh my gosh, of course this would be the card, obviously. Look at, she's sleeping on a lily pad. It says, I can relax into my natural well-being. The essence of all that you appreciate is constantly flowing into and creating your reality. As you appreciate, your state of appreciation opens more channels that allow you more for which to feel appreciation. So now is the time to relax. Get real present, show appreciation. And boom, the energy changes in your favor. So there you go, Taurus. Wow, really interesting reading, y'all. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, zodiac signs that could be in your chart or the chart of the person or people you're dealing with. Leo, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio again, Capricorn, Leo, Cancer, Pisces. But take what resonates, leave what doesn't, guys, because it's a general reading. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff as I do have videos over there. And I'm doing a live event on Saturday at 1 p.m. <clears throat> excuse me, at 1 p.m. on Facebook. I'm going to be teaching you how to get in touch with your intuition as well as your spirit guides. It's $9.99. You can buy a ticket by clicking on the link in the description box below. 
If you can't make the live at 1 p.m. Eastern, that's fine. If you purchased a ticket, you'll get the access to the video and you could replay it as many times as you want. So don't miss out on that. Also follow me on Facebook if you're not yet so you don't miss out on future events. Otherwise, I'm wishing you guys the very, very best and know that I love you so much. And until next time, my friends, namaste. Bye.